Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Watch George Lopez caught on video doing most revolting thing to Donald Trump's Hollywood star. Apparently, he's back. It appears as though we Americans have been cursed again. This time by the presence of the failed comedian George Lopez. Although unlike stars like Miley Cyrus, Lena Dunham, Chelsea Handler, and Amy Schumer, who said they were going to move out of the country if Donald Trump was elected president but sadly never followed through on their promises, Lopez did. Back in November of 2016, he was even asked about it by TMZ and he replied, Listen man, I'm an escrow so don't worry about my residential status, said Mr. Lopez in a video posted last week. I'm already an escrow, mother f, er. And I'm not going to tell you where I'm going to go because it will drive up real estate prices cause by the end of the year no one's going to want to be here. How classy. But that was nothing compared to what he did now as reported by TMZ. Are you freaking kidding me? And who is the under 80 IQ person in the background with that stupid laugh? Here is more via Breitbart. As Donald Trump inches closer to securing the Republican presidential nomination, some of the entertainment industry's most progressive celebrities have vowed to take drastic action in the event he wins. 1. Miley Cyrus Cyrus took to Instagram last week to call Trump AF, King Nightmare and wrote she'd move out to country if he wins. You DT are not God no matter how much you think you are. And if he doesn't think he is God he thinks he is the F, King Chosen One or some S, T. We're all just F, King Jab between his rich ass toes. Honestly F, K this S, T I am moving if this is my president. I don't say things I don't mean, she wrote. 2. Whoopi Goldberg Goldberg went off on Trump during a January episode of The View. Listen, he can be whatever party he wants to be, she said. What he can't be is he can't be the guy that says it's your fault stuff isn't working. That's not the president I want. Find a way to make stuff work. Maybe it's time for me to move, you know. I can afford to go, she added. 3. Samuel L. Jackson Jackson accused Trump of running a campaign based on hate in a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter. He later told Jimmy Kimmel, if that mother f, Kerr becomes president, I'm moving my black ass to South Africa. Advertisement, story continues below. 4. George Lopez Lopez is certainly no fan of Trump. The comedian recently tweeted an image of notorious drug Lord El Chapo clutching Trump's severed head atop a mountain of skulls. 5. Al Sharpton The Reverend Al Sharpton took some time away from protesting the Oscars last month to say he was booking a plane ticket in the event of a Trump win. If Donald Trump is the nominee, I'm also reserving my ticket to get out of here if he wins. Only because he'd probably have me deported anyhow he said at a Center for American Progress event in February. 6. John Stewart Liberal media outlets have arguably suffered the most in the wake of Stewart's departure from The Daily Show last year, as replacement host Trevor Noah struggles to provide the kind of viral video fodder they so heavily relied upon during the 2012 presidential election. If Trump wins in November, Stewart may have trouble finding a place to go. He told People last year, I would consider getting in a rocket and going to another planet, because clearly this planet's gone bonkers. 7. Eddie Griffin In a recent interview on Vlad TV, the comedian said he'd vote for Kanye West before Mother F King Donald Trump. Trump is good at making money, but he's an ignorant Mother F, cur when it comes to social issues, Griffin added. If Trump wins, I'm moving to Africa. If he wants to build a wall to keep Mexicans out, I know what the F, K he feel about I N, A. 8. Share Cher has been a vocal critic of Trump, often lashing out at the billionaire frontrunner on Twitter during the televised Republican debates. Cher may share a similar problem with Stewart. Last year, the 69-year-old Believe singer tweeted, If he were to be elected, I'm moving to Jupiter. 9. Raven Simone Whoopi Goldberg's View co-host may have gotten just a bit ahead of herself during a February episode of the daytime talk show. My confession for this election is if any Republican gets nominated, I'm gonna move to Canada with my entire family. Is that bad? She told her co-hosts last month. I already have my ticket, no, I literally bought my ticket, I swear. Raven should probably start packing, in that case. I'm no politico, but it is likely that a Republican candidate will be nominated this year. The only celebrity who allegedly followed through on his promise to move if President Trump became a reality is back in with a vengeance. We all already know the kind of person Lopez is, 
but what is more shocking is how people around him were laughing as he pretended to pee on Donald Trump's star. The funniest part of all this is that back in 2015 Lopez would have probably been one of the many attention-starved B&C list celebrities dying for a chance to appear on The Celebrity Apprentice. But because he decided to save our nation from another eight years of the Clintons and the Democratic Party, he instead attacks President Trump in the vilest and disrespectful way. Can anyone imagine what would happen if someone from the right went and did the same to an Obama statue? The screams of racism would be loud and plentiful. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.